Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Um, I've just made this little low quat plate uh, and that's what you're going to see in this video um, from how I cut it out on the bandsaw uh, to right through to finished. Now this is a low quat board which I uh, cut about six months ago and it's, it's just over an inch thick um, and it's dried pretty quickly which is good. Uh, now I rather optimistically as it turns out marked out two discs uh, so I was hoping to make two little plates out of this but um, now I look at it this is the pith and it goes through to the pith there so I can see the pith so um, that's one thing I have to consider there's a nice feather pattern in there which you can just see um, so that's going to have to come out um, so this is really cut on the wrong side so to get rid of the split I, I need to cut at least that uh, but when I look at it from the other side I'm just going to cut it along that line um, and then I'll turn my disc in there in fact I'll mark it now so. Right, so this is going to be the top um, and the easiest way to hold that really is on a um, on expanding uh, expanding collet. Uh, I'm doing that quite a bit at the moment and so we'll go to the drill press. So this now goes on to some uh, 55 millimeter sharp jaws in a Vicmark chuck. And it's actually slightly wobbly and it's, it's uh, well that, that bottom bit's flat, it's parallel to that. I want to get oh, in that angle. So I wanted to get the uh, the top face at right angles to the uh, to the lathe axis is much better. And that means this will come out faster. So using a half inch spindle gouge, half inch flute that is, fairly full left wing. need to true up the top so that I know what overall depth I have to play with. And end up with about three quarters of an inch. Still a little bit to go there. That'll be fine. So these are set to some step jaws. So the guard is probably tilted up about 20 degrees. In straight start with. Put 
flatten the bottom or on was it slightly concave in fact. So shear straight round the corner. Lovely fine stuff. Barely need sanding. Um, oh, I need to round over the foot. So the gouge, 3 8 spindle gouge, 3 8 flute just comes in at side, roll it slightly and round around the other side. 180 grits. Forty is quite enough for a uh, utilitarian piece. kind of knot there which I hope doesn't come through on the inside or even if it does it's not going to be a big deal. Foot's the right size for the chuck, there'll be no bruising from the chuck. Right, so that's probably going to be the right depth anyway, for as far as depth goes for the thickness of the plate. So, using the left wing, just to true all that up. I'm going to round this over, I think. Let's just round the rim over and then have some kind of shoulder on the inside. coming through there but I think I'll be able to live with that
feel a slight bump in the middle. Doesn't want to go away. shear scrape up into the underside of it's going to be this little rounded rim I want to get up in under there the easiest way to do that is with a, uh, a small skew chisel the bevel side here you can just use that to round it over. So you use the wing of the tool just to shear scrape around there. One eighty grit again. any damage from that catch. Teeny bit. that I can see a very slight little kind of extra ridge in there which means I didn't get in quite precisely enough with the skew. Just in with a 240. Bit of wax on the socks and it'll get in there. A little plate. <laughs> 